So we are at Wellesley Free Library today with Beth Shedd, and um, we are going to talk about her incredible portfolio that's behind us. And I'm Rama K. Ramaswamy here with Paul Falcone with Wellesley Media. So Beth, congratulations. Thank you very this much. This is quite the event. Thank you, it is. It really means a lot to me. So I'm incredibly moved. Tell us about this amazing collection. You have over 60 pieces? Yes, I do. I have 62 pieces in here. Um, it began in 2017, somewhere after the election, and I've always been uh, a fan of Wellesley and 30 years living in the community. I wanted to do something that brought us together rather than divided us, and um, I've had an active presence on Instagram and social media, and I thought through my photography and through my love of people, I might be able to do something on a more local level that um, connected people because that's kind of what I'm about. And, and I hear all over town of what an incredible photographer you are. So you, tell us your website. For it's bethshed.com, very clever. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> it's I inventive. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and people can text you, email you. At yep, the yep. Media. People oh, reach me through my website. People reach me through Instagram, Facebook, or at Roach Brothers. Awesome. You'll have to give me lessons on how to get social savvy. Yeah, well, I have a little bit of that anyway. Yes. yes. At, yeah. at, at age 61, like I'm you, learning. You seem like a pro. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us, tell us about what your favorite part about doing this one. Well, what I loved was for the people that I approached, they were all people that I knew in some way who were doing something kind or joyful or meaningful in the town. It was sort of six degrees of separation from my 30 years here. And when I asked people if they wanted to be a part of it, what I found was most people wanted to tell their story, especially when it came from a point of connecting with the rest of the community. So those 60 people brought me into their offices, took me into their um, places of, uh, you know, into their homes, wherever they felt that they were authentically known by me and we talked. I asked them what made them uh, do what they did, why they found joy in it, what brought meaning to their lives um, and people revealed a lot of details to me that I found really um, meaningful and sustained my um, my interest in doing this for 62 weeks. So how did you pick and choose what to write about each person? That must have been a tough job. Well if you um, if you were to go chronologically in my um, in my uh, exhibit it starts very simply. I asked three questions of the first three weeks of people. And then I found people really wanted to talk. Right. And so I began listening and letting them talk and then teasing out different things that I thought were interesting about their past. You know, we have Wellesley Bakery and, you know, Cambodian, you know, survivors of incredible atrocities um, who have created this amazing philanthropic aspect to baking. And it, it, people had more to tell than just those three questions. So I kind of teased out what I thought was significant and um, worthy of people noting. And what were the three questions? Uh, I think, gosh, if I have to remember back, probably why do you do what you do? Um, what brings you joy in it? And what have you learned about yourself? Um, because I like, I like things that have a, a, a precipitous climb and yeah. then some kind of a reaching. And I found most people had something that they had worked hard for and um, were proud of and ultimately had grown from in some fashion. I mean, the crossing guard, finding out why she did what she did. So Why does she do what she does? Because she wanted to have a job where she could take care of her parents, her elderly parents, and now she does it because of all the people she's met at Hardy and at the middle school, and she's watched children grow up over the last 20 years. Right. So. And now she's taking care of 500 people crossing the street every day. Absolutely, if not more so, yeah. yeah. So you know her, yeah, Amelia, know. yeah. And a lot of people don't know her name, yeah, but she knows right. all of our names. That's right. You know, that kind of, you know. Yeah, and she so. comes to a lot of town events as well. She, she does, and she place. might be here tonight. That sounds good. God willing, yeah. We'll have to, we'll have to say hello. I know, and she's very, very quiet, so yeah. she said she'd like to come and just see who might be looking yeah. at her picture. So how many of the people you've interviewed are going to be here tonight, do you know? I don't know. I've heard probably from half of them. Uh, some can't come. Some donated baked goods. Um, some, you know, have been sending well wishes. Um, but they become more than just people I interviewed. A lot of them have become friends. And, um, that's what I hold dear. And I've also created conversations that I think other people are having with them now, saying, oh, I saw you hanging in the library. And, you know, so that that is exactly what I set out to accomplish. So are you going to do a follow-up after this event to see how many people actually talk to other people and connect? Well, I had said initially I wanted people to do a selfie of themselves right. with somebody that they were in front right. of there, and I sort of not followed through on that. Maybe yes. you can do that tonight, okay. Rama. We'll, we'll stride it off. We'll stride it off. <laughs> but I have, um, I've kept a, um, 
a book uh, for people to make notes in, right. and um, several people have said it's working, Beth, because I just met somebody who was sitting here at the exhibit watching, and I started talking to them about it. So people are talking to each other. If only four people talk to each other, that's four more than we had. That's not right. What I, I guess I found was that there were people, some of them were moved by yeah. talking about themselves, right. and that a lot of people don't get a chance to talk about themselves. Right. So for those who did talk about themselves, I felt it was like sort of this personal moment I was yeah. sharing with them where yeah. they could kind of let me in. Um, did, did anyone break out in tears? A, a couple people did cry, actually, yeah. and and not like, Whoa, but um, but it's a rare thing to ask yeah. somebody why they do what they do, yeah. and sit there and listen to it, and and really want to know. So I feel like that's that's my cautionary tale to anybody: stop, do that with somebody, and see what you find out. Because we all like to talk about ourselves to some degree. And I can imagine that after this, you're now a professional at shorthand note-taking. Oh my goodness, I've kept them all. I've kept all my notes because I would be writing sideways and around because I started out with, you know, ten very linear questions and then I'd be wrapping around and then I'd be on a napkin. So yeah, it kind of went like that. You're right. You know me. You know me so well now. <laughs> Oh, well, the reason I did it was because for the last four years, I've been posting every day on Instagram and Facebook a quote and a photo. And um, I thought, you know what? Let's do something different on Wednesdays. Let's do it once a week. It was going to take a while for me to actually find people in a list. I thought it was going to take longer than it did who were going to agree to it. But um, so once a week, I thought, well, on Wednesdays, every Wednesday, I'll know people can plan on seeing an article about somebody in our town who either lives here or works in our town or does something good for our town. You like too many people, that's the problem. I am a chronic would have taken people liker. You longer to find people. I still like have a list. I have another so, hundred people. Okay. I know I'm ridiculous. I am so Pollyanna. <laughs> well, it's good to know. It's nice to hear why you did what you did. Thank you. Yeah, it so. really it, it, it was my joy. Uh, so we've met, we've known Beth for probably uh, 25 20, years. Yeah, actually just before we got married. And we have a good common friend. Do you remember how you guys met? We met at our common friend's house in Manchester, Vermont. So what do you think of this exhibit? Well, I, I'm excited for Beth that she's you know, really taken her photography to the level that she has. Yeah, I think it's really unique. I don't think uh, many people have done this. I think it's a great, uh, great way to express all the about all the different uh, people that she's met in town. So I have Deborah here. So tell us about, oh, I'm sorry, I should mention uh, Deb runs the Swellsley Report. So she is a celebrity attending this event. So I want to get your celebrity opinion. What do you think about this? My celebrity opinion is it's great. I love the way that Beth Shedd really found a cross-section of Wellesley. She did a remarkable job finding all sorts of different kinds of people, people I know, people I didn't know, and I'm proud to be a part of it. And um, what's your favorite piece? Have you seen the collection yet? I've seen the collection. Um, my favorite pieces are the ones with the dogs in them. There are a few of those. Um, I love her UPS driver. Um, I love the one of my husband and myself. We might be the only one with two people in it. Right. So. Oh, that's unique. Yes. Well, you are a tradition in town, so. Yeah, we try to be you a know. tradition in town. I'm, yeah, I'm more than you really want to know about Wellesley, Massachusetts. I'm pretty sure you're everybody's on the favor on their favorite list, right? We're trying. So, yeah. It's just exciting. You come to these and you don't really um, often get to meet um, the person who does the art, or else I haven't come to very many of these. And it's nice to see Shed he uh, Beth Shed here, work in the crowd and doing what she does, which is connecting people. Yes, and be sure to sh check out her shoes. Ooh, they're mm. quite fancy. All right. So we have Sue Webb, who works for Wellesley and who is one of the featured people at this exhibit. So Sue, tell us what you think about this. Um, I think it's wonderful. I'm a little surprised by all this nice work and art, the photos and the write-ups on everybody. I, I've only been through a few so far, but I want to... Yeah, you haven't seen yours yet? No, I haven't seen mine yet. I'll be surprised. <laughs> what was your favorite part about doing this? Um, talk, just talking to her about what I did and stuff and why you do what you do yeah i just walked in it's actually wonderful it's beyond my expectations i thought it was a, it would be a small exhibit and the turnout is great and i think I, it's very good effort on beth's part she's a wonderful artist she is very good and are you all featured in the exhibit today We're in the exhibit you are i'm i'm, I'm the first one and awesome wellesley dental group is over yeah. there too have uh, you known beth for a while she comes in as a friend she sits down we had a quick discussion. She said, I got it. That's it. All right, we have a wonderful collection of lovely ladies here. Are some, some of you are featured in the exhibit. 
Now, yeah, Mary Kay, you are. All right. Okay, awesome. Well, tell us what you think about this. <laughs> tell, tell us how you Sorry. what you think about the exhibit. Oh, I think it's it's a wonderful idea to profile just everyday people in town because You're we're all doing something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's it's it was um, an honor to be featured. Was it a fun process for you? Yes, it was really fun because, um, well, I'm a yoga teacher in town and for children and teenagers, and we, um, it was um, in the winter when she profiled me, so we went outside in the snow and did yoga and got on her head and all that. So it was a hands-on interview. Very hands-on. I think the neatest thing was that a lot of us saw her posts on Facebook, so she'd post them on Facebook individually, but it's really neat to see them all together and see how they relate to one another because she does have some interesting themes that go back and forth with all of her subjects. I think so too.